Hello guys, it's me Critical Cubing and Matt's Valk recently got a new world record solve using the Valk 3. Let us see what we can learn from him. This is the same scramble as the one that Matt's got and Matt's is a dual color neutral solver so he either solves the blue cross or he solves the green cross. And if we check out the blue cross and the green cross, we can see that the green cross is much more better. So in the green cross, we can already see two edges which are nicely placed adjacent to each other in relation to each other. So if you do a D move to fix your cross, the red is matching with red and the yellow is matching with yellow. The next edge for solving the cross is this orange one which is also conveniently placed in here and you can place this down by doing one move like this. The last edge for your cross is this one, the green and white one and this can also be placed down in one move by doing an L2 like this. So the cross is pretty easy on this one. However, the first pair is also quite easy. You have this pair, right? And this pair is only affected by the D move that you do for matching the center and the cross piece. And lastly, the R2 move that you do for inserting this white uh, cross edge. Once you are done with the cross, will be in this position. And if you want to look ahead even more further, you have this corner, which is affected by the L move that you do for inserting this edge and the edge for this corner is back here which is affected by the R2 that you do for solving the white edge. So your first two pairs are in here and in here. So just during inspection you already have first pairs out for you hence maximizing your look ahead. So let us solve the cross now. You first insert this orange pair with an L move like this and then you do a D move for matching the cross edge and the center. And lastly, you do an R2 for inserting this white pair. So this is your first pair and this is your second pair. For solving this pair, you break it apart by doing an R U prime R prime like this. And you have to solve this in the front left slot, which you can do by using L moves like that. Your next pair is this one and this one. And you can set up these two into a three move insert by doing an U2 R U R prime. Now you have a three move insert and this pair needs to be solved at the back hence you have to do a rotation here here you do a rotation and u prime which can be done by using your thumb like this so you do it like this yeah so you do a rotation and a u prime and then you can solve this pair by doing the three move insert r u r prime once you have solved this pair you have these two pairs as your next pair and for solving this pair you need to do another rotation so you do an rotation and then u2 to keep this edge at the back and you can pair these two up by doing an r u prime r prime like this and this pair needs to be inserted at the back which you can do with l moves like that the last pair that you have are these two and for solving this pair you need to do another rotation so you do a rotation like this then for solving this pair you match the red with the red in here by doing an u2 and then you can pair these two up like this. Now here Max did something interesting which made the solve a world record solve and not just a normal solve. Now here what most people will do is doing a U prime and then inserting like this otherwise doing an U2 and then inserting like this. What Max did here was that he did a OLL skip sub step called the Valk last slot which is created by Max Valk himself. So instead of just inserting this pair directly, he did an U2 to keep this pair in here and then he did R prime U sledgehammer for getting these two blocks in here. So here we have this block, so he did an R prime F R F prime for getting this block to the top. And now you have the slot at the back open. So for inserting this pair, you just need to do an U and then R move for solving this pair at the back, which gives you an oval skip. So once you are done with this pair, you don't have to do the OLL anymore and you can go and solve the PLL. However, Max got lucky here and he got a PLL skip. So he doesn't need to solve the PLL. And the way he recognized the PLL skip was that he had a soft bar on his left side and he also had a soft bar in the front, which only happens when you get a PLL skip. The only thing that he needs to do now is do the AUF, which is adjusting the U face. So he did a U move for matching the whites with whites, the oranges with oranges 
and the other colors and doing the U move solved the cube for him and he could just stop the timer and get the world record of 4.7 seconds. Congratulations to Matt's Valk for getting his world record back. And a fun fact about this solve is that Matt's Valk used the Valk cube and used the Valk last slot to get the world record. What can we learn from Matt's Valk world record? The first thing that I saw was that the solve was pretty simple. He didn't do anything fancy like X cross or multi slot tricks etc. He made a simple cross, looked ahead to his first pair and just kept on looking ahead till the last F12 pair. The only fancy thing that he did was the VLS and then he got a PLL skip. The thing that you can take away from him is to practice looking ahead and to turn at a TPS where you don't have to pause. Matt's was turning at 8 TPS and he didn't even pause for a single second. Also, have good and fluid transition. Mats did not pause when transitioning from the last F12 pair to VLS. Practicing looking ahead, turning at a TPS where you don't have to pause, and learning last layer tricks like VLS, winter variation, ZBLL, etc. will be helpful.